Let me explain to you how condition of your hair can affect the results of your hair coloring. If you're new to my channel and if you're not, welcome back. I'm um, Mike. I'm who? I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal color specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. In today's film, we are talking about condition of the hair and hair coloring and why certain things can happen while you color your hair and how is it affected by the condition of your hair. So if you want to find out more about this interesting talk about hair color and hair condition then you better keep on watching what is the story everyone in today's film we are going to be talking about condition of your hair and hair coloring and it is very funny but the condition of your hair can affect the results of your hair color so we're going to cover anything from why your hair went too dark to why your hair snapped during coloring. You're gonna hear a lot of stuff in this film and two main words I'll be referring to is porosity and sensitivity. Porous hair is hair that is generally dry. Porous hair has no ability to retain moisture therefore it sucks up all the depth from the hair color. Sensitized hair is hair that is damaged internally and it is mainly due to chemical damage and sensitized hair absorbs warmth. Right so you're gonna hear a lot of porosity so think of porosity as depth which is darkness and sensitivity which is internal damage and that is warmth. Right Starting off with point number one. Why my hair went too dark. Now you guys, this could be for anyone, whether you're a hairstylist or you're someone that colors hair at home and you done your roots, they were lovely, you brought the color to the ends, boom, the hair is 20 shades darker and it's nearly black and you're panicking and you don't know what to do. The main reason why your hair went dark is it will only really happen on previously colored hair. If you're coloring natural hair, that shouldn't be an issue. But if you refresh in middle ends and ends, that could cause. So, right, like we said, if your hair is anywhere porous, it will absorb depth. So, right, us hairdressers, and depending on the brand, we are trained so we can recognize whether the hair is porous or is sensitized, and we know how long to bring the color through onto the ends. So if you do your roots and you just want to refresh your ends and you bring the color through straight down and if your hair is porous, it will absorb all that depth from the color and it will go very dark. And I see it in my chair a lot, especially with people, well only really with people that color their hair at home because they use permanent color on the roots and they bring the same permanent color with the same oxidant onto the middle ends and ends and that shouldn't be really done and basically the hair is dry and boom it absorbs all the depth and the hair just goes black and they keep doing it and the ends are, are here really really dark and here is nice and lovely even though they're using the dark blonde or brown the ends nearly look like a black or a blue black why my hair doesn't hold color guys that can happen very very often the hair fades very very quickly so let's talk about it you get your hair color done after a few washes it looks 20 shades lighter Right, so we need to talk about this and that will have a lot to do with either porosity or sensitivity of the hair. For example, if you were previously blonde, the hair is probably sensitized and if you applied color, because the hair is sensitized and it is porous, the color will just go in and stay in there but has nothing to anchor the depth so it will wash out just as quick. If you are a brunette, right, and you've been coloring your hair, obviously the more oxidant stress you put on the hair, the hair will fade a lot more. So the lower oxidant is, the less fade there is gonna be. Now, if your hair is very, very porous, so think of it this way, the hair is porous and the cuticles are open. So the hair color goes in, but then because the cuticles are still open, the hair color goes out. So that is the main reason why your hair does not hold. It's due to the condition of your hair. Because like that, if your hair is porous, it will just piss everything out of it. And if your hair is sensitized, it will absorb all the warmth. And you nearly need to anchor your hair color with something. So you nearly need to add more warmth into it for it to stick and sit a lot. Better. When is it not safe to color your hair? Right, so let's talk about safety of coloring your hair when it comes to the condition. Now, if you've noticed any breakage on your hair or anything, it is not safe to color the hair. 
if the hair is obviously too porous or too dry I would not color the hair because it can cause the sensitivity and breakage of the hair so you need to see if there's any breakage on your hair if you've over processed your hair which means you put too many chemicals in it or there's too many chemicals and if you do a strand test and the hair breaks and I did do a full film about strand testing and recognizing whether your hair is porous or sensitized and I'm gonna link above here or here but basically if the hair is if it, if the hair lost its elasticity and you apply more color on it it can cause breakage especially with lightening the hair why my hair breaks after color right you guys a lot of people notice breakage after their hair color and this is mainly within our blonde so what can happen obviously when we're coloring our hair we are sensitizing our hair because we're lightening the hair and we're putting products lightening products onto the hair that if there's too much of lightening, it can actually break the hair off because hair is made up of 10 depths. So we have from black to lightest blonde. And if the hair is bleached anywhere over palest yellow and it nearly goes too whitey, the hair is at its breaking point. And if you, if your hair is naturally weak and if your hair is naturally porous and you have fine hair and you want to get that blonde blonde result and you keep putting highlights in or scalp bleaches, the hair will eventually break and it will crumble off. So if you constantly want brighter hair, your hair isn't bright enough and you just want to put more and more, the hair will eventually break. And, also, and that's all to do with the condition of your own hair and your colored hair. So if you notice that your hair is weak, if you apply a lot more color onto it, that can actually cause breakage. Right, you guys, when it comes to hair color and hair condition, we've learned a few things. Like that, if your hair is porous, it will go too dark if the color is applied wrong. So just make sure you're using the right product and you're putting the color for the right amount of time because like that the hair color can go too black and don't be always bringing the color to the ends because your hair does not need it and your hair probably does not want it and if your hair is not holding the hair color that means that it is probably sensitized and porous and it needs something bit more a punch of it and like that when the cuticle arisen the hair color will just go away as quickly as it went into the hair when it comes to lighten the hair and break it's just be careful don't overdo it make sure you have enough root if you're highlighting clients and don't be always putting pressure that your hair needs to be blonder and blonder because sometimes it's just unachievable because your hair could be just too dark and there could be too much warmth in it and no matter what you're gonna do that warmth is gonna shine through no matter what so don't be over processing your hair and causing more breakage to your hair. Anyways guys, thank you for watching today's film. I hope you found this film out interesting, helpful and useful. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also check out my other social media. And of course you guys, please, please, please do take care.